Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I am the creator behind the Bob and Weave. Today I have a craft show and I'm actually off work so I thought I would bring y'all along with me to show you what I do to prep. Normally I have this done the night before but I did not have time because I was working on the little wristlets. Um, but now I've got to tag everything and finish some things up. I've got this um, bag right back here. I think that's the Lauren bag by Mormino. And it just doesn't have straps on it. And I already have them cut. So I just need to sew those and attach them. And then I've got this little clear Mav pack that I showed in the last vlog. And I still haven't um, finished the strap on it. So I want to get that done. And then I've got to tag all of these car trash cans, moon dance notepad covers, and these coin id wristlets and then i've got about two four six eight nine more crossbodies that i need to tag so i thought i'd bring you along with doing all of that i've already loaded the van once i get these packed they'll all go in one box i hope and i can just add that to the van and then i'll take y'all with me to the craft show so i hope y'all enjoy watching I'm going to start off with adding the straps to this bag and I'm using glitter vinyl for the straps and I'm just going to mark out the center, put some double sided tape down and fold them over like I normally do for straps and then I will attach them with my rivet press. Well, I just remembered why I never riveted those on, because that was a chore, to say the least. This glitter vinyl is super thick, 
I should have probably gotten longer rivets, but I carry one made out of the same materials and I haven't had any issues with it. It's just, it's hard to get them on through all of those layers. But I'm so glad it's done and it's super cute. And it's got the same glitter on the bottom. So now I can put that in my booth with the rest of them. And now I'm going to finish up this little map pack. All I've got to do is cut this at the right length and then put the hardware on. So I'm going to get my tape measure, if I can find it. My son likes to play with it. And I don't know where he put it. Okay, I guess I'm just going to use my ruler. Now I'm going to burn this edge and kind of trim it up. My scissors did not want to cut it straight. That's a little better. Make sure that doesn't fray. And then get my sliders. And I used one inch webbing so I'm getting one inch hardware and make sure this isn't twisted and we're going to put it through the middle bar first and then through my hook here and then back through the underside of that middle bar and then I can sew it down. And I like to tuck it under where that melted edge is not showing any. And then I'll sew it down two times or two lines here and this this will be done. Just sew as close as I can get it to that slider so that it, nothing gets in the way when you're trying to adjust it. Now I'm going to go down a little farther and sew the other edge down. I don't like to rivet through these because I'm afraid that since this material frays really bad, I'm just afraid that it would make a huge hole and then the rivet would come out and you wouldn't be able to use it anymore. So I just always sew it like that. And this is like a polypropylene, I think is how you say it, webbing. And it's my favorite because it's thicker than like the seatbelt webbing. And I just like the way it feels. But yay, that one's done. It's so cute. I've got to make more of these. I'm going to see how this one does, if it sells or if it gets a lot of attention or not today. And then go from there. Even though I really want to make all of them. But it's so cute. Okay, and now. I've got everything done and I can start tagging. So what I do for tagging is I got a bunch of hang tags from Vistaprint and they already come with the little hole in them and I've got my logo and then my website on there and I'm going to try these for the first time. I usually do like cut ribbon and tie bows and everything and it's just it's a lot. So I thought I would try these little 
things you can loop around and that would just be so much quicker but on the back of these I stamp each of them like here's an example I um, stamp the little handmade and it's in my business colors and then I write what it is and then how much I charge on all of them so I think I have 30 or 31 things I need to tag right now so I just count them out and stamp all of them first and then I will group them and write them and then I'll attach them all at once. And here is the aftermath of tagging everything and I thought I'd take the time right now to go over what's what and who is the pattern designer so these I had four of them right here this is the ugly naked hobo bag by sincerely Jen patterns and then we've got the sunshine crossbody 
and that is by Bagstock. The Lauren handbag, and that is by Mormino. We've got the small cellmates by Fireweed Stitches. Car trash cans, also by Mormino. And we've got the Moon Dances by Sincerely Jen Patterns. And these coin ID wristlets are also from Sincerely Jen Patterns. And then we've got the Mav Pack by Lynn's Handmade. And I will tag all of these, or leave links in the description box below. And now that I've got all of that finished, I'm going to hopefully pack it all in one box. I doubt it, though. Um, and then I'm going to go get ready. And I have some more moon dances right here. Cut out interface ready to go. It just hadn't had a chance to sew them yet because I was needing elastic for the pin holder. And I got that yesterday. So I'm hoping I can get all of this packed away, get ready, and have time to finish a few of those up. I actually managed to get it all to fit in one box. <laughs> it's a miracle. It is about 2.15 now and I've got everything packed and ready to go. I got myself ready, my son ready, so whenever it's time to go we can just get in the van and leave. I think I have about an hour left so I'm going to take that time and work on as many of these notepad covers as I can uh, just so I'll have some extras in my booth so I thought I would just film that and then I don't know that I'll be able to film setting up my booth this time just because in the information packet they said that it was going to be like really quick to try and get set up and it'll start um, so they want you to get in and unpack and then move as quickly as can as you can so I doubt I'll have time to film that but I will definitely film <clears throat> what my booth looks like after it's set up
was able to get these three finished. I'm not really happy with this one, but it'll work. Sorry if you can hear my son in the background. He's playing video games. <laughs> uh, it's just, I mean, it's fine, but I feel like the sewing could have been a little bit better. And then we've got the labyrinth with really cool glitter vinyl and a Hocus Pocus Mean Girls mashup <laughs> with the perfect pink on the inside. I'm going to tag these now and then I'm going to head to the show and you'll probably see the booth all set up in the next clip. wasn't able to get much footage of the show. It was just such a quick time to get in there and get set up and move the van. And then it was only a three hour show. And for it only being a three hour show, it went really well. Um, I made about half of what I usually do. And usually my shows are about six hours or longer. So it averaged out to what I've normally been making. And right here you'll see I am making another Zip It Janice coin ID wristlet. Um, I got an order for this one at the show. And then I also got an order for a um, ugly naked guy hobo bag, which will be the next video. I'm just going to do a video on that bag itself, um, making the whole thing so hopefully y'all will stick around and watch that next video. So for what sold best for me at this show, it was really like nothing really stood out. Um, I think I sold two car trash cans, um, no backpacks or handbags. I didn't sell any Devon wristlets and I think I only sold one of the Coda crossbody bags and then some of the coin ID wristlets. I sold a few of those. Those are usually what I sell the most of. Um, and then I sold one of the peekaboo beauty bags and a notepad cover, the blue and purple one. Um, I can't remember what else. And then I took the custom order. So overall it was a pretty good show. So right here on the coin purse, you'll notice that the label, the rivets actually popped through the vinyl because I did not back it. So to fix that, thankfully the holes did not stretch out whenever the rivet came through. Um, so to fix it, I'm just going to get some Decaville Heavy and put it on the back here and then re-rivet those um, rivets on and it was fine after that I pulled on it and nothing happened so tip if you <laughs> need to back your vinyl for rivets Decaville Heavy is a great choice <laughs> 